I'd like to give you a quick overview of what Blogger looks like, and I'm going to do it by showing you the blog that I use for our PD uh, that we do here at, at school. And basically it looks like a blog, um, but notice you can have different pages here that are linked. So you can actually use Blogger as a website, and really I think it's probably the easiest website that you can put together. Uh, notice the home page is a blog, and you can see these are some of the uh, PD uh, sessions that we've done in the past. And uh, also notice on the right side we have some other different things that you can add. This is just one layout of the blog. This is a very simple one. There are some different options there. But notice that you can just go ahead and click on any page and it's just like any regular page in any website and this one we have uh, as our promotional our promo gallery because we make posters for each of our sessions and um, there's all different kinds of by the way these don't have to necessarily be a, a page on your site they can also be linked to like an external site so this one for our acceptable use policies goes into a Google Drive folder that has all the different accept, acceptable use policies for our elementary school. Uh, anyways, there's all, all, all other kinds of stuff here, but I don't need to show you everything. But what I want to show you is what it looks like under the hood. So if you were to go into Blogger, and, and this, is a, this is a blog that has been used for quite some time, uh, you can see all the blog posts are what come up first, and it's listed in reverse chronological order, meaning what you've done most recently. You can click on any of these to do the editing. And here in your menu, you have all the different options. So I'm not really going to talk about the blog part, but I want to mention about the pages. So if I were to go here, I get a similar list. And these are all the different pages that, I've ha that I have. And I can create a new page just easily with a, qu with a quick click. And it'll load it up. And you can see and I've got an editor just like you might have in Google Docs or a lot of other different things. And then once I've created this page, you can um, you can add it into the menu. Let me let me just show you uh, sort of what. Let's go to let's go to the blogging page, and you can see what it is. So this is a page that we've made actually for for different teachers, and this is actually just a menu page. So both of these are are linked, so that the teachers can go and check out the type of blog that they're using. And if I were to go to, say, the Blogger page, then I've got a little bit more information on Blogger. So I've got a logo in here. I've embedded some Google Slideshows and things like that. And you can really do pretty much whatever you want on a web page. If it's anything you can do on a web page, you can do it in Blogger on a page. It's super easy. There's not a whole lot of uh, stuff that you can mess up with. Uh, and if you do, you can, you can fix it. I should also mention there's a bunch of different kinds of themes. So even though I have kind of a little bit of a boring theme, uh, just this basic one, notice here, this is what it looks like on, on a mobile device if you, were, if you were to look at it on your phone. But there's all different kinds of blogger themes. Uh, they look different and some of them are pretty stylish. You have these dynamic view ones, so you can make it look like pretty much anything. So it's really easy. It's a great place to start to create a site if it's not, uh, if, you, if you're not super comfortable with the tech and you need to make a website, this is definitely one of the places that I would recommend going. And um, it's free pretty easy to use, lots of, lots of tutorials on YouTube, and um, pretty simple. Okay, what we're taking a look at here is my website, stephencats.com, and uh, you may have seen this before in one of my other videos. Yes, I know it has a little bit of a uh, 1990s look, but that's okay. I'll, I'll update it at one of these, one of these days. Um, one of the things that you won't see when you are looking at the site is this black bar up here at the top. This is because I am logged into WordPress so that I can edit. Now, my home page is this static page here, and it doesn't change, but I do, I do have a blog because this is where I blog. And 
that would change every time I make a new post. Something else will uh, something else will show up here at the top, and and my older my older material will, will end up being pushed down farther onto the feed. So um, now, if you want to take a look at the insides, the control center, so to speak, this is what it looks like. And you'll notice that it's it's a little bit more complex than what we have in Blogger. You get some of the basic uh, you get some of the basic features here, and this is kind of a dashboard with everything where you can do a, a quick draft of something. Here's recent comments, uh, recently published uh, blog posts. So if you wanted to go into those really quickly, the dashboard's really nice. I also get the site site stats of how many viewers or visitors, I should say including my top posts and things like that. So that's that's really nice to have right here. One of the things that's great about this is WordPress, although it was originally created for blogging, really works excellent as a website. And many, uh, many organizations use WordPress as a website, even though it's not really their, it, it's a big company. It's not, they're not, they might not even be blogging and they just use it as a website. And it's really easy to make these pages here. And I can just go in and I can click here. Notice I have a whole bunch of different different pages. Now these pages may have, they may be published, they might not be. You can save pages in draft forms. And you can see here, I do have three drafts that uh, have not yet been published. And it's pretty simple. Any of the, any of the pages that you go to, uh, they they work just like any other web page, and uh, to be honest, I don't even remember what's on this ed tech page, but I'll just go ahead and take a look just to show you. You get this, you get your basic editor, and it looks kind of like um, you know a Google Doc type of thing, and it, there's just basic simple editing and some information about the page and that kind of stuff. So statistics are over here. I can update it. I can have it nest, nested under other pages and things like that. Really some just pretty basic stuff that you can do with the page. And you can make it look pretty much however you want. You can add links. You can add images and things like that. Pretty much like you like you can do in, in your blog posts. So it's pretty much as simple as that. And I'll, I'll just go to my most re recently published blog post. Notice there's a draft here that I have not published. And it looks pretty much the same as a page, except that I've got categories and a few different changes. But this is what I have published. I have, an, uh, I have a uh, presentation embedded here. This is the presentation that I did at the conference. Images, links, all that kind of stuff. There's an embedded Google Doc there. You can do all kinds of things like that, which is really nice. Uh, you can categorize. You choose your own categories. You can pick tags for it. Uh, to help with the search engine optimization and that kind of thing. So it's pretty simple to use as far as the basic stuff goes. Now one of the things that's really nice though is as you get into WordPress, because it's open source, there's a there's what they call plugins. And these plugins can add functionality to your website. And there's all different kinds including like storefronts, I, I like mine with the I've got blog stats and and um, copygram is is uh, to, is an Instagram widget and I've I've used a bunch of different different ones and uh, there's tons and sometimes I try them out they work for a while or they're not exactly what I look for I can get rid of them I can just deactivate them and leave them here one of the things that's a little bit frustrating about these plugins is that you do have to do updates every so often. But that's not really that big of a deal. You just uh, there's an update page. I did it actually just before I started this video. There's an update page, and you can and you can create you can create all of the uh, updates. Uh, you can do them all usually in one or two clicks, which is really nice. So and you can see one of my one of my plugins is out of date here. So I can go ahead and fix that when I have some time. You also have the comments section, and you saw where there was a shortcut to that. But it's it's really some pretty basic stuff. You can have multiple users, just like in just like in Blogger. Uh, it's if you think you're sort of 
medium-ish tech savvy or you think you might be willing to put in a little bit of time to learn, I would, or if you think you want to start a website that you're going to continue to develop, I would recommend, I would recommend using WordPress because one of the really nice things about WordPress is that um, is that you can add on to it and you can do more with it as you get more comfortable. There's even things where you can make your own social network. There's a plugin called BuddyPress. I mentioned there's a store plugin. Um, there's there's just so much that you can do with it that you, that you really can't do with Blogger. So if you're thinking of long term or um, you know something you want that to grow, then WordPress just might be that type of thing for you. And uh, whereas Blogger might be something more for a, a simple project or a short-term project, Blogger might be a little bit easier in that in that respect. I love the stats page. I look at it every once in a while and see how many viewers I get this day. Look, you can see there was 177 viewers on my blog. I can also find out what my, my top posts were. So this Time Magazine template had has had 47 views today. I can see where people are clicking and I know just from my history that this they're clicking on this Google Docs template that they can get for their uh, for their students. But uh, it's really a really complete package. One of the things also that um, I can do is I can change the themes and there's so many different themes. Because it's open source, there's lots of different there's lots of different people who create themes for WordPress, and there's even so there's there's some here, but I can go I can look these are the ones that I've installed at some point in time, but I can I can add new and there's thousands and thousands of themes. Some of them are for purchase, but the vast majority are are really uh, for free and. Um, so you can find a, a look that you want. The tough part is there's so many, you know, finding a look that you want isn't really as easy as you might think. And that's why mine still looks kind of like that 90s version because I just can't seem to find that look that I want. But uh, there you have it. That's a kind of a quick little tour of, that's a quick little tour of, um, of WordPress. Hopefully that gives you some idea of what you might want to think about doing for a website.